Am I the asshole? For telling my son that he's not coming on vacation because he didn't check his emails? I'm planning a family Thanksgiving vacation and a really good deal came up to go to the Cook Islands. I emailed my son 20 yearly on Friday and called Sunday to see if he wanted to go. He's in college and I'm not wasting money on a ticket if he didn't want to go. I needed to know by today because I have to get visas for my 16, 11 and 8 year sons. Well he didn't so I bought the package. Just now he texted me saying he wanted to go. I said too late. Already bought the tickets. Next time check your email or answer your fucking phone. He said most people communicate on text. I said well most people don't get to go to the Cook Islands. Now his mom my ex is trying to tell me that he's Gen Z and text is their primary communication format. Had I texted him, then he would have responded. I said I don't care. I'm well in my 40s and check my all of my communication formats because I don't want to miss anything. You're willing to check all of your methods of communication but not willing to try all methods of communicating with your son? At the very least you should have sent a text saying, call me back before, it's time sensitive. If you had done that, I'd say you were in the clear, but as it is. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Dear God, is this organizing a family holiday with your children or closing a business deal? One email and one phone are the only chances your college-age son gets to go on a family vacation? This is incredibly sad. You're the asshole. I was going to say that if he checked the voicemail that his parent left him, telling him to call back ASAP, then you snooze you lose. Dot but you didn't leave a voicemail. In fact you say. When I call, you pick up. That's my rule. And if you see a missed call from me and don't call back then that is on you. I do not chase any of my kids. Good luck having a decent relationship with him as he gets older. I have a feeling that you won't be seeing your grandkids. You're the asshole, you seem weirdly proud of excluding your son with a gotcha and you seem very resentful of him in general. I can't help but wonder if there is more to the reason that he doesn't get back to you or check your emails consistently. You're the asshole. You wanted to have an important conversation with your child, so you sent an email. Unless email is the primary method of communication between you two, that is an odd choice. Then you called but didn't leave a message, and when your kid reached out less than a day later you had already finalized everything. Info. Do you actually like your son? You're the asshole. It isn't a family vacation if one family member is left behind. Yes, he could have checked his email, but it was the weekend. Yes, he could have answered his phone, but maybe he was busy. You made such minimal effort to get in contact with him that I'm wondering whether you actually want him to go. You sound pretty bitter and resentful. Info. Email can be missed as people get so much. But if dad calls you left a message right? Then return the darn call. How much time did you give him to return the call? Oof yeah you are the asshole. Sorry but he's your son. Jesus just learn how to text. Or maybe I'd Q could have asked his mom before buying the ticket what the best way to reach him is? You're the asshole. I needed to know by today. And judging by the fact that it is still today and he told you he wanted to go, it sounds like he did exactly that. Feels to me like you were trying to find a reason to ditch your son and only spend time with your new family. I'm 28 years old and my parents don't email me to ask me about vacations, they text me or call me and they always leave a message especially for something like a vacation. This just very clearly feels like an effort to leave him behind, but this way you can say well I tried when in reality you did nothing of the sort. You're the asshole. If you don't give a shit about your son just say that. You're the asshole. I'm on my 40s, and text is my preferred method of communication. Just admit that you didn't want your son to come, but also wanted to make it his fault. Nothing is ever your fault, is it? Wow acting like that at 40? And proud. Shit moves, dad.
And now you are fighting people in the comments. Why even post this? You're the asshole what are the chances his other kids are from his current wife and he didn't want the kid from the ex to go? So, you're here bitching on Reddit, but you want to claim you just don't understand this modern texting trend? I don't buy that for a second. You seem like you absolutely hate this young man. It's too bad that he can't be with the rest of the family on vacation, but at least he won't have to see you. Huge you're the asshole. Are you going to show the results of this am I the asshole? To anyone, or are you going to hide it because you are rightfully ashamed by all the people calling you out? You're the asshole. WTF is wrong with you? Your self-righteousness is insufferable, and your lack of understanding how busy it is for college students is ridiculous. Standard procedure is, if it's important, you leave a damn message and send a text, for God's sake. It's clear you're pissy over some perceived slight and deliberately tried but not really to contact your son via means you knew he rarely used just so you could exclude him. You're a huge jar. You done want him on the trip. Uh -huh. Called on Sunday. So literally one day is the cutoff between when it was doable not doable? You're the asshole. Do you like your son or do you see him as property? We get it. You don't really like your son and can barely contain your perverse glee at the gotcha of excluding him. Admit it, you didn't really try very hard to include him. This post is not written by a loving parent. This post is written by someone who either deeply resents their child or is a bully tiring to teach him a lesson. Either way it's a parenting failure. You're the asshole. You're the asshole here. It sounds like you just don't like this kid and didn't want him on your pricey vacation. Info other three brothers getting to go his brothers or half brothers. I was actually leaning in your favor until it came out that you didn't leave a message when you called. Who does that? I text with my 60 year old parents, you're not old fashioned, you're the asshole. You're the asshole. Just text instead it's not that serious. You're the asshole as far as I can tell your son won by not having to spend time with your pleasant self. You're the asshole and looking for an excuse for a power play. Well done do you feel proud? I'm in my 40s too and apparently I have learned a skill that you have not if you want someone to respond, contact them using the format they prefer. That's common sense and common courtesy. 95 of my email is trash spam ads. Join 2023. I said I don't care. Well, there you go. It doesn't seem like it was that big of a deal to you of your son came or not. Good on you for making your son feel like he's a huge part of your family. S. You should know your son well enough to know how he communicates. I could have been on your side. Truly. But the way you write about your son? The way it seems like you don't give a damn? That makes me say you're the asshole.